Dude, there you are. There I am. So welcome to the Very Real Cooking Show. But it's kind of your cooking show now because you're the only one on the show that knows what they're doing. So I gave you a list. Oh, I got the list. I got the list. I got the I got the bowl. The bowl. Good. Nice big right. bowl. Look at that. Yeah. One bowl. Yes. What is that? Oh, that's your scale. That's my scale. It's not as cute as yours. Yours is like right. we can swap. Millennial fucking scale. I don't know. Yeah. This is my scraper. Oh, I got a I got a mini scraper and a big scraper. Which one should I? So, pick? when you're using the bowl, the, you see how this one has an edge to it? It's like curved. Yeah. So when you're when you're scraping the bowl, yeah. You want to use the the curved part of the obviously. Okay. I'll use that little guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was there something else? Oh, a tea towel, right? Yeah, the tea towel. Where did I put mine? Yeah. Okay. Clean. Give the old sniff test. Oh, yeah. They never smell that great, though. No, that's what I mean. But I have this weird, I keep smelling them, even though I know there's a strong chance it's going to smell bad. What does that <laughs> say about me? Anyway. Oh, you got a so very, oh, like, nice, it has a nice stain stuff. on it. Yeah, but yours is very floral and, and sort of hip. Look at mine. Mine's just generic stripes. It's kind of dudish. It's a dudish towel. Dudish. Dudish. Biggish. Yeah. So, all right, girl, um, show us the next stage. What do we do? Now, so, everyone who hasn't seen up till now, Alex has become a master sourdough baker to the point where her loaves are now put out um for the general public i, I heard that rumor <laughs> uh, 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 yeah i i no, no 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 this is like i've been doing this for a couple weeks and my friend um christian letts who has been he he's just super creative and does everything under the sun that he's interested in and so he went through the bread making rabbit hole and this is the recipe that he shared with me oh, when i started play. nice or playing yeah back. he's um <laughs> he plays guitar for uh edward sharp in the magnetic zeros he's a zeros nice yeah he also makes what hats then? he's an incredible artist he has an album on itunes like he's just He's like one of those annoying people that's good at everything. Kind of yes. like you. No, I'm not good at everything. That's not true. <laughs> ah, I wish that was true. I So I have two starters here. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? I have 10 stars here too. Same there. But only one of them's usable. This one's the one that I did for display purposes like an hour ago or whatever Earlier. it was. Back in the fridge, right? Right, which is what this one is, which I did around the time that you did yours because I was asleep, passed out, having a weird nap in the middle of the day, which never happens to me. And then I get a text from somebody saying, hey, Martin's on Instagram Live doing the starter. And I was like, oh, crap, I forgot to be my starter. So then I came down and fed my starter. This was from the fridge. You can see the oh, bubbles. Yeah, see, that's that's what we're talking about. Look. So if you ever wondered what actors do in their spare time, like shooting around in sports cars, drinking champagne, no, no, they literally go, how big are your starter? How big is your sourdough starter bubbles, Al? <laughs> and we go, we go, oh, shit, you got really good bubbles. It's really We're good. extremely self-involved, but we also get really bored of ourselves, so we have to do something else. Something outside of ourselves, yeah. I never get bored of myself. We speak for yourself. <laughs> It's the opposite. I'm just like, I'm so interested in myself. I'm just so entertained. Right. Which is why you're doing an Instagram live of yourself making sourdough. It's for myself. I did, This is literally just goes into the home video library. We just sit around at Christmas time. Family hates it. I love it. <laughs> but they're going to love it when you go home and you can make, oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh. Dude, dude, look at that. <gasps> I know. Oh, that looks good. It went all the way to the top. And look at the bubbles. Can you see? Oh, oh, that looks really good. That's going to make good bread. 
Okay. Well, don't, no pressure. No, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna work through this together. It's gonna be great. Mine. This is the one from the fridge. This has not been fed today, so this might not be as good as yours because yours was fed today. Yeah. So it was yours. You said you you got out of bed and fed it. I fed this one. I don't think I don't think she's ready. Oh, it has had time to do its thing. Yeah, I I just think she needs a little more time to bubble. Because you know, I went through like I, I was on I was on the internet for days researching this. Yeah, I know. I've I, I heard about it. But yes. I'm very grateful <laughs> because of your obsessiveness <laughs> because of your obsessiveness and your perseverance, I, 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 well, now the world is benefiting from this. We're just able to share with everybody. I mean, there must be so many people bored out of the brains in lockdown all over the world going, oh, I hate the lockdowns. But now, you know, you can be like Alex and I and just make bread and get fat. That's right. I wasn't talking I about I love you. getting fat. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Who doesn't love getting fat? It's getting skinny that sucks. Getting fat <laughs> exactly. is the fun part. Exactly. So... Should we start making yeah. bread? Tell me what to do. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with the recipe. I, I'm doing these weird accents all day. I don't know if you <laughs> notice. It's very. I don't. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, 700 grams of water, warm water. Gram thing. The gram thing in the bowl in the big middle well, bowl. Well, I find that baking they use grams. A lot of the time, American baking, like books, they'll have cup, they'll have it by cups. Oh, here we go. American baking. Well, in America, in, in, in America, America. They, like in America, America, we do it this but, way. Do you use grams? It's so annoying, I, but I like it. I like it. I get to use my scale again, right? I mean, you can, you, you can use any measurement system that you want, but in, in a lot of the baking, I found that they use grams. So anyway. So that's okay. what I follow. Because if you're gonna if you're gonna bake, you might as well use the system they're using. Anyway, have you noticed what? that I'm wearing a Bob Seger t-shirt, by the way? Oh, you do that especially. You do that especially for the Virgin River fans. Oh I'm just trying to think, maybe I should put on a plaid shirt and then we'd all Oh look Bob at Seger. That. Is that the one though? Is that the one? No, no. The you one, happen to have one? I have one, yes. I have, this is a real Bob Seger shirt. So what you're telling us is that Mel Monroe is just completely you. You, you are Mel Monroe, everything about. I mean, I didn't want to, you know, but now that you mention it. Okay, all right, the secret's out. Okay, water. Water. I'm gonna do, this has been sitting on the counter. So I'm, I'm going to get overzealous. I'm going to do about 600 grams room temp water. And then what I'm going to pouring it in. I can't, okay. I can't see what you're, what are you pouring it into? Let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, so oh. I've got my big bowl. It's actually 614 grams, 613, whatever. This is a very finicky bowl. So I'm pouring it in there. And then I'm going to take uh, some kettle water that I was boiling and just warm that up a little bit because I have found that it just speeds up the process. I don't know. I'm sure people that know more than I do about bread baking would poo-poo me about this. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would have something to say about it. But I don't care. You know what? Hey, man. I've, I've heard about your bread. I've, I've heard incredible things. So I don't think anyone has a right to judge you, given that you come up with the goods. I'll send you some in the mail. Thanks. So... Okay, this I, is... I just put my kettle on. Thanks for that. You didn't tell me I needed hot water. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm actually going to heat more water up because this isn't warm enough for me. But you know what you can do also? You can just turn the tap on and get some warm tap water. No, no. I got to think about that. I feel like it's got to be filtered or something. No, it'll be great. 
Okay. All right. How many how many grams of water? It's seven hundred. Why is my okay seven hundred? So I'm going to do. Okay, 590 of room temp, and then the rest I'll do hot, yeah? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that should be good. But you know what's fun about this process is that after we do this... What's fun about yeah. this process? <laughs> All the waiting you get to do. Oh, that's the worst part. For anyone who's interested, this is the perfect thing to do in, in lockdown because it literally takes days. <laughs> To have a one loaf of bread, days. So, it's the it's, perfect. Quarantine. I think I, I think I uh, tried to figure out how long it takes. I think it's about eighteen. Let's see, six, twelve. I think it's around eighteen hours total, or something. Yeah, that's that's a lot. It takes about honestly about six minutes to drive to the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. How hot is but this? There's not, okay, there's that's... not much gratification when you just drive to the bakery. I know. I'm being facetious. I, you know, I, I'm actually so into. I'm having the best fun ever. I never really baked before this COVID thing, so I'm sort of excited about a new frontier in my life. Um, I think a lot of people haven't baked before. I know. <laughs> It's like we're, we're all busy running around with our heads cut off now. I think a lot something. of people hadn't cooked before, like at all. And then they were like, oh, maybe I should learn how to make food because now I you have to eat. eat at home a lot. So, okay. We've got 700 grams of water. Now we're going to do 200 grams Thanks. of our starter. How much? 200 grams. Now, what I do, you know, two, three, 200. 200, and let me, uh, I'm going to turn this around, and we're going to talk about this for two seconds. So, on my scale, I press this button, goes to zero, right? Is so, it, this is... it just is, me, or is something really, sorry to interrupt your, your fascinating uh, display there, but... Do you sort of get a thrill out of making the scale go back to zero when there's something actually on? Yes, yes, I do. Right? <laughs> yes. It's super yes, weird. I it's kind of, yeah, I just like erase the weight of that thing. Anyway. It's, so yes, it's, just, it's satisfying. It's, just, it's a, level, a level of control that, you know. So here's my starter. And oh, that's my I'm like. No, that's fine. Who cares? Six. That's. Got it. No, I just, so, I just so, put in. So ah. Close. I'm so okay, anal. So though. mine, yeah. mine is super bubbly, okay. but I honestly, I gotta be real with y'all. I don't know if this is gonna float, so we're gonna check it out. Here we go. Here's the. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Oh, guys, that's really good. But you know what just happened to me? My scale just died. Oh no, dude! I'm not oh kidding. no, my skill just died. Oh, no. Wait, why? And now it's zeroed itself out again. Oh. <laughs> so you got to scoop it out and then Let's talk about the timing of that. And this is oh, such dude. Good... See, I it's told you this is a start. very, very real cooking show. This is the realest cooking show ever made. That was terrible. Oh, no. no. And it looks so good. It great. was floating and everything. So that's what you want to see. And now I'm going to end up taking some of my water out accidentally. Oh, what a mess. Okay. You It'll can put fine. a little more water back in. Yeah, no, it's, it's going to be great. This is good. Okay. I like this. By the way, this someone just texted me and said, where's your Mexican girlfriend? I don't know why I find that really funny. But she's in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. where, else, where else would a Mexican girlfriend be? But she's in Mexico because she can't get where I am because of COVID. Where you are. But if she's watching, I don't know if she is, but if she is, Aisha, you know the deal. I'm making an absolute asshole of myself 
publicly trying to do something like this. And the deal was I would do sourdough and granola and you would do relish. So I'm publicly shaming you. Yeah, she has a thing for relish. Well, we both do. It's kind of our secret thing we put on underneath scrambled eggs. It's awesome. Oh, that sounds good. What, but um, that was the deal. So is she gonna, does she know how to pickle? No, I guess that's what she has to learn. I don't know. Is that oh. part of the deal? I, I'm a, I also pickle. Oh, far out. There you go. You can, you can do one of these with her. I do a lot of things. I know. I'm a weirdo. I pickle. I can make pickles. I can make jam, cakes. I can you, fucking you quilt. Are those, I know how to quilt. Those... <laughs> You're a grandma. You're a grandma in a Bob Seger t-shirt on a Saturday night making sourdough. <laughs> And you're a secret pickler. There it's you go. not secret a secret. Style. It's been on my Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you get your sourdough starter in there? No, I'm still. Okay. So I do that now? Look at me. I'm beat red from being called a grandmother. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> okay. So what do I do here? Do I just pour it in or do I spoon it in? Yep. Pour in 200 grams. Okay, ready everyone? I'm gonna turn the camera around here. Uh, please float. Oh yes, it's floating! It's floating! Oh, this is so good. Oh man, it's totally floating. Be proud. Hey Alex, you should nice explain work. to people that whole point that it's got to float. Because I'm really hoping that there's at least one person out there that's bored and frustrated enough to try this all i know is that the floating i mean you want me to give scientific reasons i don't know those reasons all i know just make it up no one, will, no one will know it means that your your yeast is active and that's what you want when you're making bread you want active yeast i mean if you were to use dry yeast and Usually, like when I make um, bread rolls, like like sweet, sticky bread rolls, dinner rolls, like Hawaiian rolls, if you will. Um, <laughs> it takes forever. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you use dry yeast. <laughs> and you have to sit it on the counter in some milk with an egg and some sugar. And then it eventually it starts to bubble. So you want to activate your yeast. So this is active yeast. And this sourdough yeast, the, your sourdough starter yeast will always be active. It's not like dry yeast where it kind of like goes dormant, it's dry. You, you're, it's always active. That's why you're feeding it. So it is kind of a pain in the ass. But it's also, look at that. Look at that. You, I mean, it looks like you're making fried donuts or something. Great. I know, I know. But, oh, hang on. I'll, I'll show you my counter. I'm, I'm, oh, it just changed. I swear to God, it was 900 exactly, but 901's fine, right? Uh, yeah. No, it's totally, yeah. Well, it's I didn't, I didn't zero it. So I just, I, I just went from 700 mine's to 900. Mine's at 207. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Got a little extra in there. No big deal. Okay. All right. As long as NBD. So now we're going to do 800 grams of all-purpose flour. 800 grams into what? Into that water mixture? Into that bowl. So I, I measured some out because I was actually almost running out. And I was like, oh. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to make sure I had it. How so, many grams? 800. All right. So I zeroed my scale. And now I'm going to add 800 grams of all-purpose flour. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's in French, too, for our French friends over there. Farine to usage. Here we go. Um, 800, yeah? Just pour yep. it in. Yep. <laughs> How was your day, anyway? How was your, did you have a nice Saturday, Alex? What? Did you have a nice Saturday? A nice Saturday? Yeah, I did wake up at the crack of dawn and I did some oh. work. Now, you know, oh, yeah. Saturday. 
You poor thing. How are the kids? Oh, oh poop. They're fine. Good. They're happy. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there an expectation in the house now that you've made this amazing sourdough that, that you have to just keep going? Like, have you sort of made a rod for your own back? I'm, I'm sorry, what now? Is that some kind of, like, New Zealand uh, thing? What, what, what did you say there? Rod for your own back, you know. Uh, what does that mean? Like you, like you've done something great, but now you, there's a downside. Now you're like, you know, you have to bake all the time. Not that that's probably not a down for you. It's probably like the greatest thing ever. Um, no, no, no. I, I actually really, I really like to do it. Um, and my family eats it, so I, that was the whole purpose. I actually wanted to do, uh, like sandwich loaf bread. Really? Because my kids eat so many peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and, and yeah, they eat a lot of bread. Lots of toast happens in this. Cheese thing. toast, cheese toasty. Oh, did you say 800? 800 grams? 800. Yeah. Yep. God, I'm only up to 470. I feel like this whole bag's going to end up in there. You're fine. I think it looks like you're fine. Okay. I don't need to sip this flour, right? I mean, it's obviously too late, but. So you baked a cake. Yep. And did you it bake it again? It was actually awesome. I got to say, it was really good. It was pretty good. Why don't, why don't you, like, send it in some dry ice to me or something? All right, I'll bake another cake. I'll bake another cake, and I'll send you a slice. You texted me. I'm and making more granola your, tomorrow. Uh, actually. Yeah. I know you sent me I'm, that recipe. I'm doing. Try it. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing ginger, cinnamon, fig, and mulberry. No, mulberries and oh, I don't know what was it? Sour cherries or something. But I went to the supermarket today. Do you know what a, a Buddha's hand is? Had a what? Do you know what a Buddha a Buddha a Buddha hand? Yeah. Check it out. That is a Buddha um, hand. Oh, it's um, a, a squash. What is that? No, it's a, it's a citrus. It's like it's kind of like a really weird lemon. Oh, it's a citrus. It's, it's it. Yeah, I don't know what you. I don't know if there's much fruit, but the the rind, like the zest, is amazing. It's like it's like it's it's lemon, but it's kind of more perfumey or something. It's incredible. So I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my granola, and I will send you some. I promise you. Zesty. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna um, flip my camera around and show you guys uh, how I'm gonna start to mix this dough. It might be hard for me to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So I've got my bowl, and I put in so. Martin, I don't think you put in your, um, do you have whole wheat flour? No. Yeah, that, no, I, that, think I, that I think I do. <laughs> whole grain, yes, whole wheat flour. But I just put in, okay. I've already put in 800. Yes, you put two. in 800 all purpose. Yeah. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put in 200 grams uh, all whole wheat flour. Okay. Whoa! Didn't I get lucky? So what I'm trying to show you guys with my hand mixing here is how sticky the dough gets. And so when you're mixing it like this, just it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be clumpy. Like like this is totally normal. If any of you decide that you're not just watching this for entertainment and you actually do want to make some dough. Like this is this is totally fine. I'm gonna um, flip you around again and put you back up here so that I can continue to do some mixing. Um, I've got a excuse me, Miss. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, Miss. Excuse me, Miss. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I put the whole wheat flour in now, or do I do what you were just doing and then put it in? No, nope, you put the whole wheat flour in now before you start mixing. Okay, two hundred grams. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Breckenridge. I wish I could have like an overhead view. So, but this is my dough. It's super sticky. And I'm just trying to incorporate it as much as I can. And when I stick my hand in the dough, I, I squeeze it like a claw, <laughs> smush it through my fingers and then kind of wrap it around the bowl again so that you scrape the sides of the bowl. And you're not using the little scraper tool, right? You're doing this all with your hand right now. This is all, this is all my hand right now, but I'm actually at the point where I'm gonna scrape it. And what I can do is show you where I'm at right now. So you can see it's pretty stiff. Like it's not falling out of the bowl at this point. Um, and I've got, pretty much all of the dry flour that I need to. So I'm gonna take this edge. And actually what, what is a good, thing, a good idea is to wet your scraper because it helps the dough not stick to it so much. Like it's easier to get the dough off. So what I'm doing now is I'm just scraping it off my hands. So you, you should go ahead and okay. mix your dough with your water. Do, do my thing here. Oh, just, I'm just gonna show everybody. If you want to look, know what a thousand grams of flour looks like, here we go. A thousand grams of flour. So that's 800 all purpose, 200 whole wheat for this particular bread that's a specialty of Alex's that she's been working on for generations within the Breckenridge family, dating back to the turn of the last century in Connecticut. I go no, back no, to no. a main. No? Okay. <laughs> it's not at all true. Actually, my my This is awesome! My this is awesome! Mother. My father's it? mother's mother his mother. It's French. And they had a bakery in the eastern part of the US. So that's kind of true. Oh Anyways. There you go. So it is I don't in have any blood. family recipes so, though. It is in your blood, because I, I don't have that sort of French heritage mine's all irish and scottish so i'm really good at baking potatoes thanks mum. thanks thanks for all my ancestors I'm, awesome i'm also irish and scottish oh there you go well i'll send you a potato in the mail how about that <laughs> you'll be so what impressed else, what else you? you're not just irish and scottish you're dude it's pretty much i, I did that ancestor ancestry.com or which i think it was that one and now I'm a little paranoid that some billionaire in Germany like has the rights to my entire genetic code and he can basically clone me and I can't do anything about it. But anyway, moving right along, on a happier note, um, Are you I a found conspiracy out... theorist? No, I'm not. But I, I, I did listen to a podcast and they were talking about the negative potentials of your genetic material being owned by a corporation and it's not what you give away right now it's what could happen in the future and all it just freaked me out i just had visions of being locked up for the rest of my life for a murder i didn't commit wow martin that's where wow. my head goes yeah so there you go welcome inside my mind it's a lovely place um but i forgot what i was what we were talking about oh yeah no i found out um i have a little bit of russian I have a little, I have a little Russian inside of me. Is, <laughs> oh, That's what oh. she said. <laughs> you went there. I love it. You went there. It's late enough. The kids are in bed. The kids are asleep. Bad. We can talk about little Russian men inside me. Can't we? I was quite chuffed by that. I don't know why. I just sort of thought it's something slightly more exotic than Irish, Scottish. Not that I mind. I quite like being a Celtic nutcase. Ugh. No, German is good. German? Russian? German. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I know. I'm, 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 my accents have been off today. I'm uh, very tired. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little... I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing here. But... Well, do you hear what? I need to help. I'm... I'm I'm like completely stuck to this. Like, like it's ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> Let me give you a, a, a tip. Use one hand instead of two. 
This is a good time for that tip. I just want to point out, like, <laughs> probably genius timing. <laughs> like I, I thought maybe you'd be watching what I was doing and like just. Fine. I'm just gonna go and pay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna change the remote. I'm just gonna. <laughs> it's gonna turn. The, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go and pet so, the dog. Do that thing where like you scrape off from one hand, probably your your scrape off from your left hand, so that you can continue to just use with your right, because you're right-handed, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So do that. Okay. However long that's gonna take you. Well, I'll do that. Um, I'll do that, and then and then when I while you're doing that, I'll sh yeah show, show us the next stage. The folks at home, what's going on here? So here is my dough, and um, what I do here, which is quite hard to do with one hand, um, is I turn it and I fold it right with that. Turn it, scrape, and fold turn, scrape, and fold. So I'm going to do that a few times. And that looks suspiciously like one of those things that someone just sort of says, yeah, you just you just turn, scrape, and fold. It's like learning how to do the tango. It's like, oh, no, it's just one, two, three, one, two, three. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, you have to use some force. You, you, you take the scraper, you, you cup it in there, and you scrape and fold it over. It's, it's a, a movement that I wish I could sort of... Oh, there you go. You're doing it. But there's a lot of, like, there's lots of YouTubes where you can watch people doing this and okay. get the technique down. But I've got a question for you. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'll take a, a question from Mr. Henderson. Um, there's sort of a little bit of... Uh, just dry flour, not a lot, just a little bit around the outside. Are we worried about that? Do we, are we, no, who cares? It'll get absorbed, right? I just kind of leave it out there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I mean, there have been times where I've scraped it in, but at this point, it's so, I've already mixed my dough to the point where I don't want to scrape all that dry stuff in there. Sounds gross. Sounds yucca. I'm listening. I'm just washing my hand. Wash those hands. Uh, so, so okay. So I haven't actually to be to be totally honest with you. Um, I haven't actually used wheat. Uh, okay, great. So I'm the guinea pig. So this is awesome. I thought you were literally going to just walk me through everything you did to make these legendary loaves, but no. You've actually just wrote me into some kind of weird experiment here. No, because you don't have einkorn flour and I'm out of my einkorn flour. And so what I was going to say is that I've used rye flour, mm. but the ba the base is all purpose flour. So I, you know, the secondary flour you're using is not so much. Okay. It's not as much as the all purpose. It's fine. Well, hey, show me your hands. My hands. Show me hands. Oh. I already washed them. Oh, okay. All right. So can I stop? Can I? Can I stop this now? Do you want to see yeah, my? So, yeah. Show me what's happening yeah. here. Okay. So that looks great. So I would, you know, peel off. Do you scrape off with the dough scraper off of your fingers as much as you can? Right. You know. And then. You know, rinse your hands or whatever, and you I'll pick up the dough scraper. I'm having a okay. All right, so I scrape it off into the bowl. Yeah, it 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 takes some effort. It's not. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> the business of baking bread. It's kind so, of. No, I mean, let's be honest here. Let's you know, we wouldn't be up at nine o'clock on a Saturday or wherever you are. I don't know what time zone you're on, but you know practically the middle of the night doing this if it wasn't fun. I mean, guys, you've got to give this a shot. It's so much fun. It's like being a big kid again, playing with mud pies and Play-Doh. Do you remember Play-Doh? Yeah. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Do your kids, did your kids? It's, a, it's currently in my house, so yes. It's, it's still a thing. I used to eat that stuff. I think it's got a lot of salt in it. It was yum. Oh, that's what happened to you. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen, 
listen, here's the deal, guys. This is what's going to be super obnoxious is that now, well, Martin has to catch up to me. I wash my hands. Martin's got to wash his hands and scrape his bowl. Um, after that, we're going to put a tea towel on top of our bowls. And what I have here, which I'm sure you don't have, is I have this handy dandy, very large rubber band. Okay, so the hot water. You don't water, need one. You didn't, you you didn't mention the hot water. Hand. You didn't mention the, the one hand business. You didn't mention the, the hair tie, or whatever it is. I'm just pointing out here that you're Thank literally you. setting me up for failure. It's fine, but it's, it's plainly obvious to anyone who's paying attention. But go ahead. <laughs> Martin, when we spoke of this this afternoon, when you suddenly decided to go on Instagram and bake bread, I yes, knew. You did. When, and then when we decided to, to I'd come on together, I knew you weren't going to have a giant rubber band. How do you know? How do you know? Maybe. Is that big enough? No. Is that going to fit around your bowl? No. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I have one of those bags of like, you know, just that you can get a bag of all different size rubber bands. So I have one of those and in there is one of these. You have a big so one. I find it really helpful. After you've got your dough formed like a disc, you're going to take your tea towel. Called a tea towel, darling. Yes, a tea towel. Yes, yes, I see that. Just take the rubber band. I press the bowl up against my stomach, and I start from the back towards me with the rubber band, and then I just sort of tighten the the towel. So, oh, holy macaroni! So it just so kind of ends up looking like this. What am like I going to do in the absence of a rubber band? I don't have a rubber band. You don't, well, what I'm saying is you don't actually need one. It, it, it might be like a weird type A. Oh, it is. Kind of like you there. giving us the detail that you're pushing the bowl against your stomach and starting the thing out there kind of in keeping with that level of minutia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is that it? Have we, have you done the stage? Is that it? So now we let it rest for an hour. Great. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna be at this. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm gonna I'm gonna start my timer. I guess on my iPad because I'm on my phone. Um, my hands are all sticky. So I should do, be doing the do tip. Yeah, do your yeah. thing. Do your okay. thing. Get it ready. Get it ready. Um, and then in a half. So. In an hour, we're going to do the um, warm salt water scrub. The worm? Warm oh, salt warm. water scrub. The warm, the warm, warm yeah. The warm salt the water scrub. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh. how you doing? Uh. You know, I'll be honest with you, you know, it's a vulnerable moment here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I really know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm, I feel okay. like I'm about to get exposed for being uh, a wannabe baker. That's, that's how I really feel right now. I feel like all my baking ambitions are going to come crashing down and the hard reality of life is just going to knock me on my butt and I'm going to be humbled and just going to the bakery tomorrow. But Martin, I'm here for you. Oh, see, kids, that's what real friendship's about. When the chips are down and your sourdough is just looking a little weird, your friends are there for you. Show me your sourdough. I'm sure it looks great. You want to see it? It's kind yeah. of a bit of a, I think it's a bit of a shambles. No, no, no. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want it to look like. <laughs> oh, you are so kind. You no, are it's very true. kind. We'll switch it. That's what it should look like. Okay. How many? Now, when you do a turn, you just you you bombarded me with a lot of information. Is it a half turn or a quarter turn? Or just whatever. A quarter, a quarter turn. I'm over a quarter turn. Oh, I would say quarter. Okay. Yeah. This is quite fun, though. I like I like this sort of action. Like it's mm -hmm. kind of 
rewarding in its own way. Oh, man. Now, here's the thing. We can, we can do 40 minutes. We can wait for 40 minutes, or we can wait for an hour. What's going to give so, us the best bread? I mean, I usually wait an hour. All right, let's but, do that. I think we should do whatever yields the greatest sourdough. I should have asked what the quarter turn was. So <clears throat> imagine the bowl has four sides, right? Imagine you've cut it in half and then you've cut it in half again. The bowl? The bowl. Somebody asked what a quarter turn was. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You go for it. You go and instruct them. So then that's a quarter turn. So one of those four is a quarter, like from from here to here. Quarter. Oh. So and we are going to post this recipe, aren't we? Someone asked me earlier, are you going to post the recipe? And I, yeah. I yeah, said we, yes. Alex said no. We had this whole thing. I'm like, why would, why would you do that? She said, no, that's not true. It's not true. We're going to share. We're going to share the love. Somebody asked what the recipe for the starter was, and I'm going to tell you guys that I actually tried to do a starter. And I tried to do a starter with the whole wheat flour, and I wasn't very happy with it. So I bought a starter like a month or two ago. I bought it was about that much in the bottom of a, uh, a jar. Actually, it's about this jar. And it was a little less than this in the bottom of the jar. And so I've gone off of that. And I've made, I don't even know, eight loaves of bread at this point from that starter. Because it keeps going. You have to, you feed it uh, flour and water and then it just keeps producing more starter. And then you can bake to I want to make lots of inappropriate jokes now that you kind of just, <laughs> you kind of kind of just blew the ceiling off of uh of that one but no oh my God. anyway what, what? i next? missed it i totally missed it oh, oh sure so what happened do you want to see my thing i mean it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks great that looks great okay that that little that thing <laughs> Just hide that little guy. Okay. Okay. So do I cover it now? Cover it. Do I cover, cover it with it, the... Cover uh, it, set it, and forget it. Cover, for, set, and forget. Set it, and forget it. Okay. This is awesome. And I'm going to... When this is all said and done, I'm going to share my... My scramble egg recipe. As you know, I'm going to hold Aisha to her commitment. I'm going to wait until she makes relish, and then I'm going to show that to the world. All right. I, I'm dying to know how to make relish. So. So am I. I'm trying to eat it. Yeah, I'm sure it's uh, delicious. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to happen for an hour. One hour. Okay. And you're sure I don't need to I don't need to seal it or anything. I don't need to put the rubber band on just just let it sit with the thing on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. That's just my own little weird thing. I like to have it. You know. Yeah. So. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. Oh, it's so great to have you on the show. I've always wanted to have you on the show and every Every week we get together, me and the producers, and we sit around and we just think, who could we get? And your name always comes up, but, you know, we never thought you'd say yes. So we're just we're absolutely flattered. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I mean, no. It's been a dream of mine. It really has. Well, now you're flattering me. To be here with you because, you know, your bread-making skills are just top-notch. Now you're lying. <laughs> Yeah. Is that Casey? <laughs> what did he say? He said, <laughs> he said come to Brazil. <laughs> he said, come to Brazil.
he going? I'll go with him. <laughs> no, he said, well, he did say come to Brazil, but he said back up. Are you back online? <laughs> anyway. We live online, Casey. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We, we mostly live online, especially because we stream. Like, we bake till the early hours. I'm so tired, <laughs> dude. I'm literally eating. Actually, I'm going to give a shout out to Endangered Species Chocolate. I don't know if you're familiar with this brand, but it's so good. And you know what's really cool about it? On the inside of their packages, they have these little blurbs about different animals that are endangered and all these facts. And then there's these different societies that they give a proceed of their profits to around the world to help with endangered species. So you can get fat and help endangered species. You can get diabetes. That's so nice. You can get high cholesterol. You can, I mean, it, it, the world's your oyster when you eat this stuff. So I need it, man. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm a bit worried anything can come out of my mouth at this hour. Dude, you have to stay up for another hour and a half. So I know, I don't know why you're so, what are you talking about? It's 1030. We, when we talked about this, you said you were going to stay up late. Anyways, do you, are we going to look at our dough? See what's going on? Yeah. Let's do it. Take it away. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. No, well, do it. you and I are going to have to stay up for another hour and a half doing this shit. I, everybody else can go to bed. Um, this is what my dough looks like. I think we should say hi to people. How come you don't say hi to people? You're so rude. I'm going to say hi to people. I'm so hi sorry. Pe I'm sorry. Last time for the last 50 minutes that we, we did, we're, we're, I'm sorry. <clears throat> were you oh. talking to people during that time? I, I, what? I said hello. I, I said hello to a couple of people. Anyway, I'm gonna say to to good morning, Belgium. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Katie. It's 12 here in AL. Where's AL? Oh, look at that. Okay, so that's your salty water, and you're gonna pour it right on top. Hi, Gail and Toha. Hi, Jasmine. I love you too, Gray's Obsession. Australia. Oh, good day, Australia. How's it going down there? Are you guys making bread down there? What kind of bread are you doing? Are you just firing over your... What's it, what's it called? You sat down by the billabong. What is it called? <laughs> you should There's know more than me. About a, a dude who's walking through the bush and he sits down, he fires up his billabong. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, tell it. Oh, look at that. Look at that hand action. Whoa. Now, there's a girl that likes to play with her Play-Doh. <laughs> it's hard with one hand because usually I hold the bowl down with the other hand so that I can okay. really. I'm going to leave that one alone, kids. Anyway. <laughs> HR is going to come after you. So sh 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 I didn't say anything. I'm just saying don't, no. don't play with other people's Play-Doh if you haven't asked first. <laughs> Not polite. Okay. Okay. Moving so, right along. So this is sort of what it's going to look like for you. And this is what, you, what you're looking for. And you want to incorporate it. Ta-da! Incorporation. Um, as I said, it's very hard for me to do this with one hand. Um, Hello, Miguel. Sorry, I'm just going to start shouting out to people because... Yeah, do that. Oh, oh, I think oh. I think we should talk about. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I just had a back spasm. It's traumatic. Two children. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, baking! Baking is like a high risk activity. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, she put her back out baking. She put a. She literally put her back out kneading dough. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm gonna get my uh, scraper wet. <laughs> <laughs> this show just keeps getting better the later and later <laughs> this show oh my goodness oh my goodness hey you know what <laughs> you heard it here first folks this is a very real inappropriate cooking show um so i'm gonna i'm gonna follow your lead here i'm gonna pour the salty water over the dough oh my god Oh my god. 
This is fantastic. <laughs> I told you, man, this time of night. Oh. I knew bread making could be so so inappropriate. Inappropriate. But you know what? You know what is appropriate is how good this bread is going to taste. True. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pour this over now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go, everybody. Here's my salty water. Oh my! Oh my God, Alex! I've got a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I swear you started. It. <laughs> I've got a lot of. Um. I've got a Wait, lot of really. What's happening there? That's my salt that didn't dissolve. What kind of okay? salt? <laughs> Molden salt. It's like really fancy salt. Oh, molden salt! Oh, you should have told me that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should have asked me. I <laughs> I used the wrong I used the wrong salt. I love that salt. No, no, no. It's it's great salt. It's fine. It'll be fine. Just you gotta smush it in. It's fine. Okay. It'll be great. Okay, right. here we go. All right, everybody. I use that stuff all the time. It's awesome. Okay. It's great. Salt. So now I do the one hand handed knead. This is so much fun. I really want people to try this. I really want and. Everybody, it's okay to fail. I failed on my first starter. Alex, have you got any failure stories you want to share with the viewers out there? Failure stories? I yeah. have so many failures. <laughs> Little bumps along the road that, that ultimately led to your, you know, your success, your personal. Oh my god, you know? that's way too deep for. 10.40 at night, baking bread. Well, let's talk about strangers. Season two then. Lots of, people, lots of people want to know about season two of Virgin River on Netflix, airing next Friday, November 27th. This Friday, this coming Friday, because tomorrow is, is Sunday. Friday, you're right. right. So it's... So... What, six days? I wonder when they put it on. Do you know when they drop it? Like, do I they don't... drop it at like twelve in the morning on Friday? Probably, but it can't be twelve. But that—that's but the thing. If it's twelve o'clock in New Zealand, it would only be. Oh God, math. The math. It would be <laughs> like three in the morning the day before, so that wouldn't work. So uh, you know what? Maybe they actually Netflix probably have a calculator, and they probably actually figure out the time zones around the world. You think? <laughs> I don't know. They've got an algorithm for that stuff, don't they? They've got an algorithm for making sourdough, I'm sure. For lots of things. Do you think yeah. they make sourdough over there at Netflix? No. They don't. No. So, I'm going to... Do you want me to show you what my dough looks like right now? Yep. Let me see my dough. That's my dough. I dough. This is my dough. Okay. So... This is where I'm at. Oh, your lo your dough does look good. Your yeah. dough looks a little um, less clumpy. You, yeah, you have yeah. to keep kneading it. It's uh, you know, yeah. So what is what is the consistency that um? That you you that you notice that lets you know. Does the dough tell you that it's ready? Is this is it something that talks to your hand? Yes, yes, it, it talks to my hand. What does it say? What does it say when it's ready? It speaks to my fingers. What does it does it does it say? What does it have a little voice? Does it talk like this? Is it no no voice? Does it say, Hey Alex, can you feel me on your fingers? No. No, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't believe that my dough talks like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, where's your dough from? Is your dough sticky? <laughs> my dough says, Hey! Yo! I'm done. Stop mixing me. You got some New York dough. You got some... You got some... <laughs> Can't do New York without swearing so much. What is it about New Yorkers that just make you want to cuss? Uh... I don't know. It's kind of goes with the tip. It just is, yeah. I wish I could show you 
I can't hold the thing and do this. <laughs> it's like completely impossible. I can't. Um, Actually, you look. Oh, oh! Can you do this? Can you do do that? <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, like, like, like a piano accordion, like a vertical piano accordion. This is super fun. Oh, dude. Now it's starting to get sticky. It's, it, right. You're right. It's not talking to me. I was so off base with that assumption. It's, okay. um, so listen. So take your scraper. But is it ready? Like, if, if it's pretty sticky, like it's literally kind of sticking to my hands, is that good? So, so you want to add some water to your hands so it doesn't stick to your hands so much. I love how you tell me all this stuff way up that I actually need to know it. Martin, when I was trying to describe the entire process to you, your, your eyes sort of shut off about not even a minute into me trying to describe the process to you. So do you think that in that time I was going to say you're going to need to to wet your hands while you're working with the dough. No, oh, I need to do okay. bullet points. You say I have no. Con I literally, I'm. I, I have nothing. I'm silent. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I will learn to be a better listener. Okay, Mel. Who's, who's watching right get now? Get better into your feelings. I know that it makes you feel validated. So. I want you to stay in Virgin River forever, and so I'm going to become the best. Lisa said that Martin is a bad student. Oh, dude, I'm not. Oh, so yeah. you're, I'm going to have the last laugh when you eat this bread, and you're going to be like, "But you're going to take total responsibility." You're going to be like, "Oh yeah, it's because I taught you how to do it." You, you, I know how this is yes, going to go. That's true. Yeah. So you win either way. If it's crap, you blame me for being a bad student. If it's great, you're the best teacher. You. I win whatever. So at some point, dude, you're gonna want to take this guy. Yep. Like, like this point now, or just some arbitrary point in the future. I'm not so really sure what you're doing there. Can you can you show me what exactly is you doing that? Okay. Okay. So you don't need to stretch it. Okay. Huh. Oh, such a shake of the head. Happy here. So you got this in here. You you want to? Let's just. Do a little. I'm gonna wet my hand a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the dough. Yep. And I'm gonna fold it. So this is also what you're gonna do in a half an hour. Jack goes to Westlake. Jack, shout out Westlake Boys High School, North Shore, Auckland, best school ever. I don't know what year you're in, Jack, but I hope you're studying hard, and I wish you all the greatest success. You're at a great school. Anyway, that's all I have to say about Westlake. That was my school. It was probably pretty obvious, but that's awesome. Jake, that's Jack, cool. like, I hope you're paying attention to this young lady and you're learning lots from Ms. Breckenridge. Anyway. That's cool. So somebody's, somebody's on that went that is going to your old school? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, he's in year 11. Saw you there in year nine. Oh, right on, Jack. So weird. We're just having a conversation across the Pacific Ocean, time zones. Nothing can keep us separated. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. I'll never let go, Jack. Ten bucks if you can, if you can type the name of that movie right now, Jack. You've got five seconds. What was that movie a quote from? Don't say anything. No, he's, he's, in, he's in high school. He probably hasn't seen it. I will honor the bet. Next time at Westlake, I'll give him 10 bucks. I still okay. haven't seen it yet. Nobody has typed in the name of the movie. Someone uh, typed in Arabic. But they said I look like a princess, so that's nice. Oh. Do you know any songs from Frozen? Martin, you are pure art. Titanic, there it is. Haha, -ha, Titanic. Thanks, guys. Well, that was more than 10 seconds. That's true. Jack, sorry, mate. It's all right. But you're a Westlake boy, so you're all right in my book. Okay. Anyway, I'm not paying attention. The ADD is kicking in in full effect. Here we go. 
it really is. But you know, I'm gonna find another recipe. <laughs> I you say I another. No, no, no. I'm going to find another recipe because I know this is super labor intensive. Like, this is ridiculous. I get that. I'm, I, no, I, I'm not, I don't. I don't wear I mean, come on. Are you New Zealand, Martin? Yes, I am New Zealand. I'm the country of New Zealand. I'm the North Island and the South Island. I was brought up from under the ocean by Maui. His fish hook dug into my flesh and pulled me up. From the no, no, I'm not, but I am from New Zealand. Yes, what have you seen? The whole thing, Maui. He was a legend, it was a legend that that's how the, the land of New Zealand was formed by this guy who fished up the North Island and then he took his club and he, he beat it was a stingray, it was a giant stingray, and they walked along and he clubbed it. And the clubbing action created all the, the mountains and the hills of the North Island. Hobbit land, Hobbit land was created by Maui. I've been to Hobbiton. Why did you go to Hobbiton? Hobbiton town. Hobbit. Why did I go to Hobbiton? Yeah. Because it's, I was in New Zealand and I went to Hobbiton. Did you like New Zealand? I love New Zealand. Oh. It's one I of my favorite places besides Bali. Bali's pretty nice. Can't go skiing in Bali though. I nope. don't go skiing, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Great, you're no fun. So anyway, let's go. Uh, what what happens next? So, the fun part. Well, can I see your dough? Yep. <laughs> no, you need to need that more. Need it more. Okay. Need I'll get my hand. I need you to get your scraper out. <laughs> get your scraper. Oh my goodness! Hang on. Take your scraper. You just said I need to need more. So do I get my scraper or do I need? How many times did you need? Your I mean, I've been sort of doing it on and off this whole time. Sort of very you sporadically. Very erratic. Erratic. Okay. I've got my scraper. There's people from the Philippines here. Hello there. Hello there. Um, <laughs> someone said, how do you keep your accent from carrying the Virgin River? That's easy. I just, I just mimic Alexandra Breckenridge, basically. Well, listen, you, I want your dough to kind of look like this a little bit more. Do you see? It's, a, it's just a little bit more. Wet. Somebody's watching from Cambodia. That's pretty cool. In Indonesia, Peru, Malaysia. What's going That's on me. out there, people? Well, they're probably, it's probably a reasonable hour for those people. I feel like they're still in the middle of the day. It's probably their Sunday. <laughs> so, Martin, look, look, look. When I take my scraper Scra and I scrape like that, this is what you want the consistency of your dough to kind of look like. It's like okay. plaster on a wall. Sure. Kind of. Whatever you like in that consistency. Okay, fine. Doesn't look anything like plaster on a wall. No. I don't know. I've never plastered anything. I could totally <laughs> plaster on a wall. I don't know. So, anyways, so once once we've gotten it to that stage, what yeah. we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave it for thirty minutes on the counter with the towel cloth on it and then uh, come back to it and fold it six times every 30 minutes. And I'm, I'm gonna walk you through this off camera. We're not gonna do this on live. This is, that's ridiculous. That's well, just tell every, walk everybody through it now verbally. Just tell everybody so that, you know, there might be someone out there that wants to do this. Give them an eye, prepare them for the worst. Let them know what they're in for. Your life could be this exciting that you could literally just piss away hours of your youth trying to make one loaf of bread. This is how you too can spend your Saturday night <laughs> making sourdough and feel very accomplished Sunday evening. <laughs> the time you've rested your dough. When do we literally, like, literally, when do we get to eat? Like, when is this thing actually ready? 
So, okay. So we've done this now. And so we're going to be up in oh, so late. Uh, I'm a wuss and I go to bed just so early these days. But you have children. I, Understandable. I do. And it's true. And okay. So when you start your dough process for this specific recipe, you want to start you're needing, you don't need to whack it and bring it up in the air like that. This, <laughs> it's too much. It's like. No whacking. You're no. like, what are you doing there? You're like. I'm whacking my dough. What does it look like I'm doing? Radio silence. <laughs> Total. Okay. Okay, no more whacking the dough. It's too late for that. Okay, I think I've I think I've whacked my dough enough. You've whacked it quite enough. So, um, you want to take the scraper and do what I showed you and sort of fold it around the bowl with the scraper and wet the scraper underneath the water first so that it doesn't stick to your dough. So wet my scraper. Yeah, just get it. Just wet it down a little bit. All right. So this dough, I'm just going to tell y'all what's up with this dough. So uh, once you start the process and you make the dough as we have done this evening and you let it, you make the dough, you let it rest for an hour. Then you do this process we're doing now. Then you rest it for a half an hour, fold it about four to six times, let it rest 30 minutes, fold it. You're doing that for about an hour and a half. <laughs> three times of 30 minute rests between foldings then you stick it in the fridge for eight to ten hours which is why we're doing this at night <coughs> so that in the morning we can take it out of the oven i mean out of the fridge and cut it in half fold it some more do some special things and then put it in a proofing basket if you Bye. have one. Dude. Yeah. There's a word for people like me. There's a phrase for people like, like me. All the gear, no idea. But that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh. That's pretty good. So, but you could also do that in like a regular bowl. Um, is fully dirty um but so you can basically take a tea take a towel um sort of spread it open like this flour the inside once you've cut the two doughs the, the one dough into two doughs the next day if you only have one proofing basket you can use this other kind of bowl for the other you put the other one in, and then you cover it, and then you have to stick it in the fridge again for another eight hours. So it's all about timing. It's like, when do you want your bread? You have to kind well, of... Mid-January would be cool, <laughs> but, you know. Later I, I promise you. No, listen, next time we do this, I'm going to find something. I'm going to find a recipe. I'm going to talk to my friend, Christian, who knows shit that I don't Christian know. Letts. Christian Letts. Christian Letts. Knows Let's. everything. Hmm? Chris, no, no, it's irrelevant. I was just obsessing about his last name. Let's. Well, it's, it's not his real last name, but, you know, it's his last name. Oh, it's just a fake last name. Just whatever. Well, just, no. Just a made-up. Now we've got into that. So. You know what? I don't, I don't think we need to know. I feel like one of us is going to get in trouble if we divide. Well, I've gotten into trouble. Yeah. Know you well, yeah. I don't want you to get into trouble Sorry, anyway. No. Tell us, so yeah, I'm gonna start scraping and folding. Okay, I want to see where you get with this dough. Quarter turns, right? Yeah, um, spoilers. What do you call it? A little teaser, give people a little teaser for season two. Oof. What, what, what can they expect from Mel Monroe in season two? Oh, man. Well, 
I mean, what do you think? I, I'm curious to see how she's going to deal with uh, with Charmaine's pregnancy. What would you do? What would I do if somebody I was I went on one date with? One date. There was one date. And then found out that his ex-girlfriend was pregnant? I don't know. I might walk away from that. <laughs> Not if it was Jack Sheridan, you wouldn't. You'd have to do something pretty phenomenal to get me back. Like build your cabin in the woods. He already did that. He already did that. Something more? You want more? Oh, man. Yeah. There's no pleasing you. Oh, my God. See, you You're give right. them an inch, they take them all. You build them one cabin, and now they want a whole village. They want a whole town named after them. They want a whole country. And then that's not enough. They, they, want, a, they, want, they want a whole continent called Monrovia. Mel Monrovia. <laughs> this, this continent no, was, no. was settled by Jack Sheridan and was bequeathed to his love. I'm going to, I'm going to, you didn't build Mel a cabin. You fixed one up. I, well. You fixed a cabin up. You didn't Do you know what I mean? It. That's not enough for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's, okay, fine. You know what? I'm so glad you're not Mel Monroe. You would be impossible to please. <laughs> uh, no. The truth is I'm so glad you're Mel Monroe. You're the best Mel Monroe uh, ever. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I get lost in these. I, I can't really tease things. I'm, a, I'm scared I'm going to, like, give too much give away. Give away. Me too. I hate talking about it. I, I'm going to jump right to the last scene of the last episode. Charmaine needs to go back to you both are funny. Oh, you both are funny. That was two separate. I read them as one. What about hope? Somebody said. Well, we'll find out what happens with hope and talk. Ooh, and yeah. Everybody. Hope and talk. <laughs> Lizzie and. Um, Is there a season three? Gosh, I sure hope so. There's it. We're actually currently shooting season nine of Virgin River. It's top secret. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, In case anybody really thinks I'm serious, I probably have to qualify. No, we're not shooting. Season nine version. Why the name is Mel Monroe? I have no idea. You'd have to ask Robin Carr that. She is the. She was a big tennis fan in the eighties. She's a what? Big who? Oh, that was Mac Monroe. No, no, I was thinking of Mac Monroe. Oh. Oh my oh. God! You're a millennial. You don't even know who John Mac Monroe is. I'm oh. an elder man millennial. True. Okay. It's true. I'm so old. I'm an elder millennial, though. I was not quite in the... I resent that statement. Okay. I, re I retract it. How's your... I, th I feel like we're done. You like, dude, like... check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I think that's good. I think that looks that looks pretty good. I think... You want to see what happens when I give it a, a, a thing imaging? Yeah, yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Put the tea towel yeah. on it. We'll let it rest for 30 and then we'll, we'll never do this again. <laughs> I'm sniffing my teeth out again. We will never do I'm so into this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go buy an apron though. I reckon that would be a good investment. Oh my God. Your shirt is, that's like, it looks like you have toddlers. I know. I do. I have one inside here. When are you going to see the results of the bread? Well, listen, we're going to show the bread um, tomorrow evening. Both of us will post about our breads because we'll have four loaves. We <laughs> <laughs> have so much bread. I'm going to post Alex's address uh, on Instagram tomorrow. So if anybody wants some bread, just feel free to he check. know my address, luckily. <laughs> I'm going to find out. <laughs> I'm unlisted. It looks <laughs> like he's been whacking the dough. Kim Anna. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Nice one, Kim McKenna. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh hi from Turkey. Uh, say hi to people. You should say hi to people. They just they're just so happy to see you. Hi, I'm I'm I I'm having I have a hard time reading everybody's names as they just fly up the screen. I'm like Jasmine. Jasmine wants to know how do you love working together? Well, that's like the worst question to ask. We love working together. What? Not me and you. Somebody else. Um. Oh, South Africa. I've never been there. Mexico. Kavila, Kavila from Mexico. Say hi, Lexi. Where's Sammy? Oh, he's sleeping. He's snoring away. Somebody was laughing really hard at something. Oh my god, I peed myself. I laughed so That's freaking so hard. cool. I love peeing myself. <laughs> Who I love said it. that? I just saw all these laughing. Abby. Abby K. Patrick. She peed what? herself. Oh, Hello, Scotland. Natalie McLean from Scotland. My mom's from Scotland. She's from Edinburgh. Good morning from Brazil. I said, okay, so it's in the morning. And... All right, listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you. No, I, 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 no you're an amazing no. actress. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Who cares about geography? I care about geography, but little little. Clearly, you that, didn't. You didn't in high school. The last, the last grade I think I technically completed was eighth grade. And that was on a technicality, like what? So what's what's the actual? No, because when I entered into high school, I really didn't go to school at all, and then I dropped out. So you're a rebel. I'm. You're I'm, you're you're a so, rebel educated human you said you what i'm a self-educated -ed human there's a word for that is there yeah i forget what it is but it's a really yeah it's kind of a cool word yeah well we better oh, say goodbye to everybody hey, goodbye Peru. my bread what tea towels oh there's a trick if your towels smell, if your dish towels smell, put them on hot in the washing machine with uh, distilled white vinegar. All right, there you go. You know. Okay, I don't have any. So I'm going to start my own Martha Stewart channel for yeah, this is like high school dropouts. Who needs good when you've got how to flunk high school and be a star of a Netflix TV show and make the best bread ever. And who cares if you don't know where Brazil is? It doesn't. It no, doesn't I care. care. <laughs> oh, stop that. That's not fair. No, I know you care. I just mean you don't we love care Brazil. enough to know. Like Martin Henderson. You can still care and not actually know. Right? Like, I, I care about sourdough bread but i do not know how to make sourdough bread and that's why i'm here see to help you learn how to make sourdough bread is your is your dough in there no oh all right i think that's a